With the warmer temperatures in the Twin Cities, there's a law enforcement initiative working to continue the downward trends concerning crime. We did this same operation last year. Many of you were involved. The results that we are getting uh, in some cases are better than we have even seen pre-pandemic. Minneapolis police announced the start of Operation Safe Summer 2, a data-driven approach to reducing crime in collaboration with several law enforcement agencies and prosecutors. We at the county attorney's office have been working very hard in collaboration with law enforcement partners, not only in Minneapolis, but all around Hennepin County. Um, it's really important. Uh, we, we all know that gun violence is an issue. Combating violent crime um, has been a priority for the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension and all the partners that you're seeing here today from the Minneapolis Police Department to the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office to the ATF, FBI, U.S. Attorney's Office. That collaborative effort is really what has driven some of the crime that we've been able to see that's going down. And looking at recent data, there were 24 homicides in the city compared to 37 at this time last year and 30 percent fewer shot spotter activations this year. Total gunshot victims, uh, 137 uh, as of the third. 37% decrease year to date. We'd like to see is a substantial drop in gun violence, not only deaths or homicides, but in people who were hit by bullets. 492 guns have also been recovered so far. That's an 18% increase from 2022. Last year, we broke our all-time record for gun recoveries with 1,101. The ultimate goal, they say, is to address staffing shortages within each department while reducing violent crime across the board. The biggest issue right now is <laughs> juvenile crimes. You know, we have juveniles committing adult crimes, um, and it's just happening so often. I believe in prevention. I do believe in uh, intervention programs, but we also have to acknowledge that once that threshold is crossed, there needs to be accountability.